Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kieran and welcome to a tutorial video and uh, today we are going to be, or I'm going to be, showing you guys how to install FSX scenery into FSX. So, uh, essentially um, this is my first video of my tutorials uh, series. Essentially what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be taking comments from you guys um, and if you have any sort of problem, any um, anything wrong with FSX, anything you're trying to figure out, I will sure to take a look at the problem and attempt to create a video um, to um, kind of, I suppose, um, either get by the problem or of course fix what is wrong. So if you guys are, are having problems with Flight Simulator X, please do drop it in the comments and I will uh, take a look at what is going on. So anyway, in today's video we're going to be installing uh, UK2000 scenery, which is um, Earthbot scenery, into Flight Simulator X itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google. As well, uh, this scenery will, uh, or should I say, every type of scenery should work in this way, uh, depending on, or should I say, even if you have purchased it, or if you are of course using free scenery, which we have today. Um, it will still work, um, there's just a couple of different methods of doing it. But anyway, we're going to be installing UK2000 scenery, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go onto Google, or any type of search engine you um, use, and we're just going to type in UK2000. Click UK2000 scenery, and here is the website for UK2000. As you can tell, we have extreme UK airport scenery, UK2000 uh, add-on scenery for 2004 and 2002 flight simulators and you could 2000 VFR airfields. It's your choice. I would certainly, well, for the purposes of this video, we're going to install some uh, UK airport uh, scenery. So it comes up with this. On the left hand side here we have products, which is going to click there. And on the right hand side here we have a bunch of airports uh, which are available for an install. Now, uh, today we are going to install. Uh, what should we install? We can install Newcastle. So click on which um, piece of scenery you require or want to install. You get two options. You can um, choose the free version or of course you can buy uh, the extreme version which includes much more detail than the free reduced version. But for the sake of this video we're just going to be uh, taking the reduced free version. So. FSX you want to click, or of course for FS9 if you are using FS9, uh, but you might want to go to a different video if you are using FS9, because it may be a little bit different, I'm not sure. Anyway, click FSX, and it should come up with this box here, and you just going to click Run, and it should take a, literally, it will take about 30 seconds to install, uh, so we'll just wait for that to install. As well, as you can tell, um, oh, I think I've already explained this, but uh, the paid version is much more detailed than the um, free version as you probably could have guessed by now um, judging by the fact that you have to pay for this version it's about 15 pa actually I'm not too sure of the price it might be around 10 pounds I'm not sure what that's going to be in dollars uh, but it'll be something um, something to inadequate standards. Anyway, when this comes up here, uh, the user account control, just click yes, and it should come up with this neat little application. Um, it's just basically the installer, you want to click next, and I agree to the license agreement, next. Uh, you just want to click the standard installation, unless of course you want to um, set to the files in which you personally want to uh, install this scenery into it's been easy. Uh, what's going on uh, what uh, what has happened right there okay there we go sorry okay click next and confirm yep uh, we're gonna save it into there next next and it's installing boom installed what am I missing yep that's just basically giving you all the things that you're missing from the paid version um, but we're just gonna click next and then finish Add this product to your scenery library, recommend yep, just click yes. It will all, basically what that will do is automatically put this piece of scenery into your um I just want to click OK with that as well. It will automatically put that piece of scenery into your scenery library for Flight Simulator X. Therefore it will already be there if you choose to 
go straight on to free flight, which we are. Anyway, next thing you're going to do is open Flight Simulator. Um, flight Simulator X. And you should get this little bar here telling you that there's been something installed. And that's just, uh, that's for a different thing, don't worry. Uh, that's not for the scenery. Uh, one thing I'd like to confirm is go to settings and then scene library and just confirm that UK2000 Newcastle free is of course ticked in the box to the left hand side of it. If it is, just click OK and that will confirm that you have the scenery successfully installed. Uh, I'm just going to quickly actually mute Flight Sim Sound because it can get a little bit noisy and it is not needed for this video. Anyway guys, uh, just a quick thing about my channel, uh, This, uh, these kind of videos are going to be st are starting to um, become more frequent. Uh, you might notice that I have uploaded a, a video on my computer. If you haven't, please check it out, it goes through my current PC specs uh, and uh, things in which I'm going to be buying for my flight simulator in the future or whatever. Uh, also, as you can tell, the you might be able to tell when I start running flights you know, that the oops a daisy uh, completely out of mind uh, that the um, quality of the video is not brilliant. Um, so look at Newcastle, Newcastle, Echo Golf and Matango will just spawn at a random gate. Gate six two will do. Uh, weather will go real world weather. I'll click OK, and then we'll just we'll, for the sake of this video we're gonna we'll we'll spawn in. At Daytime, something around that time. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly um, stop this recording, and we shall get back to it shortly. Okay, guys, we are back. Right, uh, we're gonna be checking out the scenery now. So, what you wanna do uh, is simply click Fly Now. Uh, it should quickly, or depending on what type of computer you have, quickly. Um, jump straight into the game. There we go. Spawning straight in. Uh, and as you will automatically be able to tell, the scenery is a lot different to the default. It is much more um, detailed than the uh, uh, default. Anyway, we'll just uh, quickly select cold and dark with the Airbus. Uh, we'll um, just get a little bit of lighting. As you can tell, the quality is awful inside of this aircraft. But yeah, if you look around, you can see that it is all more detailed. Um, we'll take a look at the outside. Actually, uh, you can see the airport is much more detailed than it would be on the default. Uh, there also will be aircraft. Um, obviously, if you've installed World of AI, it will uh, be that one step more. Um, should I say one step more? What should I say? One step more realistic, I suppose. Uh, obviously, this computer monitor is awful. It is an LCD display. Just thought you guys know. Uh, we're running off an awful resolution, um, but it will improve when I get my monitor, which I should probably stop mumbling on about. Uh, but I should probably do a unboxing of my monitor if you guys are into that type of stuff. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's just a little bit more detailed. Uh, if you go over nearer the airport, there might be some vehicles on the ground, uh, which are not available with the default scenery. It depends. Uh, there is places like Gatwick, which is quite highly detailed, um, but obviously Newcastle um, is not the biggest airport in the world, so it's not going to be uh, significantly detailed as London Gatwick or London Heathrow. Say. Uh, but so yeah, as you can see, it's much better, um, and that is what uh, that is what the UK 2000 scenery free will give you. Anyway, guys, I suppose it's time to now conclude this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like and, of course, comment for uh, of any problems you are having, um, and I will sure to make a video. Most likely this series will be in, or should I say weekly, um, maybe we shall start it every uh, Monday possibly. Um, as you know, I'm not very big at YouTube at the moment, so if you could drop a subscription that would be very, very privileged. I'm also going to start streaming shortly to keep updated for that. Uh, I should probably make a Facebook page as well for updates like that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, uh, I hope you've learnt from it, and I hope you now know how to install Flight Simulator X Scenery into Flight Simulator. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed, gotta go now, so I will catch you again in the next video. Bye bye.